headlines you can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 101.7. All right, 623, it is still back Thursday, and I know we have sports coming up, but the big story that everybody's talking about, Jim Harbaugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, making some changes. Yeah, going to the Chargers. Yeah. And we'll talk more about it in sports, but... Yep. Uh, He's going to be Man. in Cali, baby. We were uh, we were talking off the air like, oh, he's coming back to the NFL. So I guess he wants to go from playing real football back to the script. <laughs> back to the script. Back to the script. He's already been over here on this <laughs> side before. But maybe he has, he wants and to, he went to the Super Bowl. Maybe he wants to retire, you know, with that NFL money. He went all the way back to he the Super He did, I know. Wow. I know. He's with, a great coach. With uh, Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. Yeah. And Sam Fran. Remember when he played his brother? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. The Ravens were in the Super Bowl that I, year. I remember that storyline. Yep. That script. See, so he's back for another script. He came back for one season, and all of a sudden it's the hardballs in the Super Bowl. <laughs> they had some good writers for that one. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, they're even better now. <laughs> they hired some new ones. And look how good the Ravens are. Here's the so twist. is it going to be like a rematch next year? We'll see. We'll see. They Just, got great ratings. Yeah. They did because he did it with San Fran and then it was Baltimore. Yeah. They had, you know, the West Coast going against the East Coast. Brothers. It was a great storyline. Now here he is, not with San Fran, but with the Chargers this time, still back in California. We know how it's all going to play out. Wow. (laughs) Guess what you got today? All right. So there's a few things going on making the headlines. And let's get into it. So. There is a new fungal infection. I have no idea if you heard about this, but it's popping up in unexpected parts of the U.S. New research reveals that this new fungus is very rare, traditionally associated with the North, Midwest, and parts of the Southeast. And sometimes, you know, it's prevalent in other regions of the U.S., but the infection is like a fungus, and it can be challenging because it mimics other respiratory infections. So the study now discovered cases in unexpected locations like Vermont is emphasizing the need for awareness and diagnosis to improve the treatment and the outcomes. In Alabama, the U.S. Supreme Court declined to halt the execution of Alabama death row inmate Kenneth Smith, Mm. who is scheduled to be put to death this week using nitrogen gas. This is a new method that some experts have declined um, you know, to even talk about. They say that it's going to lead to excessive pain and even torture, but Smith is due to be executed during a 30-hour window starting on Thursday for his part in a 1998 murder for hire. The state 14 months ago aborted an effort to execute him by lethal injection, injection because officials could not set you know, the line before the execution warrant expired. So we'll keep you up to date on that situation as well. A Salisbury police officer was injured after reportedly being hit by a car during an investigation on Wednesday morning. Another crazy story making the headlines that happened at around 9, 10 a.m. Officers responded to the area of Waverly Drive in Newton Street for a reported domestic disturbance. We are told that during the investigation, one of the officers was accidentally hit by a vehicle. The officer was taken to the hospital for non-life-threatening injuries after chasing and catching a suspect who had fled on foot due to having multiple warrants. Salisbury police came out. They said that the officer is in good spirits and is expected to make a full recovery. Wow. Also in Worcester County, the sheriff's office is now seeing an uptick in car break-ins. They say that that's because people are leaving their car doors unlocked. The reports were primarily in the north end of Worcester County, and the sheriff there says that the suspects are just going around, pulling the door handles to see which car is unlocked. And the north end of Worcester County is like Berlin. Gosh. Berlin, Ocean Pines area. Don't leave your car unlocked. They're working, you know, with the Maryland State Police, but if you... We ain't Mayberry no more. You know, if you get caught, you will be charged, excuse me, with theft from a motor vehicle and depending on the property that's stolen the amount you know a lot of charges will come now i've never had my vehicle broken into but you have oh yes i have a couple times right Mm -hmm. so what what happened like how did you know it was broken into um sometimes the door is not closed all the way okay the interior light might be left on the inside console is like up and like stuff is scattered the glove box might be pulled open and stuff is just scattered everywhere uh, the change, you know, that little 
I don't know where you have yours in your car, but mine's on the left-hand side of my steering column. Okay. And there's like a little latch there, and a little thing folds down, and I just put change in there. Sometimes that'll be like open, and like change will be just all over the car. Yeah. So they're just like rummaging through looking for anything that's valuable. They'll take chargers, um, headphones, Anything you have in your car, maybe a laptop. They find anything in there? In mine? Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> they find your almond maybe joy. Some change and almond joys. Some almond joys. Some candy. <laughs> <laughs> the old lady candy. No, I have an old lady car and I have old lady things. Some mints. They thought they were in there like looking for the old lady jewelry. <laughs> Yeah, no, just some change. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. There was gloves in there. I remember I had those were taken. Um, an ice scraper for the car that I had, one of those little small ones. Oh, you actually had a real You didn't have like a cassette tape? I used to have a cassette tape and a <laughs> CD player. Yes. Like a CD. Right. I'm sorry, yeah. not a CD player, but like one of the round CDs. A what? I used to use that to what is scrape that? What? the windshield of the car. It's called a CD. Bill, stop. <laughs> I still use mine. Don't be hating. I have a CD player in my car. What is that? <laughs> is it in the trunk or is so, it in the front? Just be safe and be careful and lock your cars. All right. Keep your lights on if you, you know, are outside with the porch. Yes. You know, lock your doors, of course. And then just the big thing is just stop leaving valuables in your car. Yeah. Wow. Uh, six. 29 coming up we got a 47 abc update that is uh, of course some more headlines we got that includes sports and uh weather and then we got jessica's celebrity buzz coming up at 6 35 so keep listening it's a bill and jessica show